back, everybody. My retirement stuff is back to the dad. It was the first thing to start with Jeffrey Checkman. Music. Thank you. Get the ending cue music ready, please. Thank you. And then I'll take my seat right over here and we'll get started. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Here are the categories for the Jeopardy round. Sunny Stuff, The Stand, 20th Century Authors. On the cover of Rolling Stone, Nuts to You. And completing the board, our final category is... When was that, Pierre? Player one, what'll it be? Nineteen ninety six film in which Eddie Murphy played most of the extended family of an extended chemistry teacher. Player one. Right you are. This phrase can mean all-encompassing, or from the first course of a big meal to the last. Player one. Well done, yes. Not a snack for big, sluggish guys. It's usually four or five of these that secure a wheel onto a car. Player one. Definitely. The ballet in which a little girl is entertained by the sugar plum fairy. Player one. Yes. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. It's Connecticut's spicy nickname. Player one. You bet it all, but it paid off. Excellent. He appeared alone on Rolling Stone's first cover, November 9, 1967, and nude with Yoko a year later. Player one. Well done, yes. 
The stars of this sitcom, including Jason Alexander, hit the yellow brick road for the 1998 30th anniversary cover. Player one? Exactly. He should get some satisfaction knowing he's been on the cover more times than anyone else. Player one. Well done, yes. Anthony Kiedis went solo for a 1994 cover and appeared with this group on a 95 cover. Player one. That's it. Nothing compares to this singer seen on covers in 1990 and 1991 and with even less hair in 1992. Player one. Yes, indeed. Of 1930, 1940, or 1950, the year France was first occupied in World War II. Player one. Exactly. Most newspaper stands carry this financial daily paper published by Dow Jones and Company Incorporated. Player one. You're correct. This supermarket tabloid claims the largest circulation of any paper in America. Player one. That's it. The Hollywood Reporter and this daily constitute the trades of the TV and film industry. Player two. Definitely. Your choice, player two. Sunny stuff. For 100, please. It describes a fried egg with a yolk on top. Player one. You're correct. Player one. This country's official name, Nihon, means land of the rising sun. Player one. You got it. Shamash, Mithras, Saul, and Ra are examples of these. Player one. That's right. The Earth's northern and southern lights result in part from the effects of these solar prominences. Player one. No, I'm sorry. Player two. You got it. Player two, you choose. 20th century authors for 100. Danish writer Peter Hoag had a bestseller about her sense of snow. Player one. That's it. Player one, what'll it be? Active as a lawyer from age 21, he used a dictating machine to write his Perry Mason novels. Player one.
You're correct. In this Ray Bradbury novel, Fireman Guy Montag doesn't put out fires, he starts them. Player one. You got it. This Humboldt's gift author won both the Pulitzer and Nobel Prizes in 1976. Player three. You're correct. Player three, it's your turn. When was that, Pierre? For 200, Alex. Of 1918, 1928, or 1938, the year the armistice ending the Great War was signed. Player one. Well done, yes. Player one. Of 1954, 1964, or 1974, the year France lost the Battle of Dien Bien Phu in Vietnam. Player one. Oh, regrettably, no. Anyone at all? Player two. That's it. It's your turn, player two. When was that, Pierre? For 400, please. Of 1189, 1589, or 1789, the year the French Revolution began. Player one. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Player three. Definitely. Okay, player three. When was that, Pierre? For 500. Of 1921, 1871, or 1821, the year of Napoleon's death, six years after Waterloo. Player one. Well done, yes. Player one, what'll it be? One of the better-selling issues of this women's magazine was the 1972 issue featuring Burt Reynolds' news. Player one. Exactly. Joseph Stalin, Newt Gingrich, and Adolf Hitler have all been this magazine's Man of the Year. Player one. You're correct. Around 1610, Galileo determined the sun's rotational rate by watching these dark areas on the sun shift position. Player one. You got it. Here's the final answer on this board. This British-born author penned Brideshead Revisited. Player one. No, that's not right. Sorry. Is that it? Player two. That's right. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. You're building up a huge lead, player one. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player three, but you get to start things off in double jeopardy. Now it's time for the double jeopardy round. Dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on the board.
Let's get to the categories for double jeopardy. National monuments, movie directors, athletes, U.S. history, people with presidential last names. And completing the board, our category is the Queen's English. Player three, it's your turn. People with presidential last names. For 200? This dear woman has <coughs> lots of advice. Player one. You got it. Player one. He won a Tony and an Oscar for playing Henry Higgins. Player one. Well done, yes. Sixteen tons, and what do you get? This singer, we bet. Player two. That's it. Your choice, player two. The Queen's English. For 200, please. In England, a cuppa is a cup of this. Player one. Definitely. Your choice, player one. The British call a tire a tire, but they spell it this way. Player one. Yes. If you got a new brolly as a gift on Boxing Day, you received one of these. Player one. Definitely. On a road map, the M in M1 or M2 stands for this. Layer 2. That's it. It's your turn, player 2. Athletes. For 200, please. In 1989, his first year as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, the team went 1 and 15. They later improved. Player 1. That's right. Player 1, your turn. At age 11, in 1972, he scored 378 goals for an Ontario-Canada ice hockey team. Player one. You got it. The last Major League Baseball player to hit 400 in a season, he was John Glenn's wingman in the Korean War. Player two. You're correct. Your choice, player two. U.S. history. For 200, Alex. This young man became leader of the Mormon church in 1844. Player one. Yes, indeed. Player one, what'll it be? During the Civil War, this little women author served as a nurse for the Union. Player one.
That's right. In February 1988, the Senate approved Anthony Kennedy's appointment to this court. Player one. That's it. Hats off to JFK. He authorized the elite U.S. Special Forces Group known by this colorful name. Player three. Yes. If you would, player three. Movie directors for 200. Roman was this director's 1984 autobiography. Player one. That's it. Player one, your turn. He directed Frenzy and Psycho. Player one. You're correct. The Swedish Film Institute honors excellence in filmmaking with an annual prize named for this director. Player one. Exactly. In Platoon, Charlie Sheen's character Chris was based on this man who directed the film. Player one. Definitely. This director of Breezy and Bird starred in In the Line of Fire. Player one. Yes. It was the birth name of the man seen here. Player one. Yes, indeed. One of the two Olympic swimming champions who played Tarzan on film in the 1930s. Player one. You're correct. She played Wonder Woman. Player one. Yes. He won an Oscar for glory. Player one. Yes, indeed. It's a military officer's servant, not a Cape Crusader. Player one. Yes. This little bighorn battle loser was called Armstrong or Aughty as a child. Player one. That's it. This tower rises 1,280 feet above the nearby Belle Fouche River in northeast Wyoming. Player one. You're correct. The USA's only national monument outside the 50 states is Buck Island Reef <coughs> near St. Croix in these islands. 
Layer one. Yes. This site of Custer's last stand was designated a national monument in 1946. Layer one. Definitely. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. Idaho's Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument covers over 4,000 acres along the banks of this serpentine river. Player one. <coughs> Boy, that was a bold move betting it all. But it worked out. Congratulations. And the final answer of the round. Answer a video daily double. Player one, please make your wager. With Ellis Island, this monument seen here is the USA's most visited national monument. Player one. You're a gambler, player one, but you're right. Way to go. That brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. So let's take a quick look at the scores. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. Don't count yourself out, player three. All right, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The category in Final Jeopardy is Shakespearean characters. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Player three. Player two. To be sure, one of his soliloquies begins, how all occasions do inform against me. Player one. Well, how did everyone manage with that clue? Player three, your question. That's right. And your wager was? Player two, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Player one, your question. That's right. And your wager was? See you all for another game. And that's all for the Tournament of Champions game. Let's see how everyone did. Our big winner, player one. See you again on our next game of Jeopardy. Bye, everybody. <laughs>